Hey there chameleons, it's Camille, and today I'm updating you on the new dye I used, showing you how I quickly refresh the color between dye jobs and the dye safe products I use to keep it vibrant. AKA, this is a video on how to keep your hair lit when you worked hard to make it fire. This is my hair about three weeks after dyeing it using the permanent Flare Me dyes by Clairol Professional and upkeeping it with the products I'm showing you today. The original dye video is linked in the description box down below in case you need to get caught up. In between major dye jobs, I like to touch up my color, and I know you guys remember the hair dye shirt. Y'all are always commenting when I don't wear it, which is so cute, so I finally found it and brought it back. Since the dye in my hair right now is permanent, I'm going to use a safe, semi-permanent dye from the Clairol Professional Jazzing Collection for a touch-up since it has no ammonia. They have a bunch of vivid shades that are easy to use, so I'm starting with Fuchsia Plum to go over my ends and using it straight out the bottle. It's perfect for the color I have now, and being able to just squeeze it on saves your girl so much time. I make sure to saturate the hair so it comes out even once you rinse it out. The Jasmine Collection is also salon quality, so it's very exciting because you can find it at any Sally's or at a local beauty supply store. I spread this all over the ends and overlap where some of the purple is so I can easily fade that later. I like to take the gloves off by pulling them inside out so there's no mess, except for that one glob I got on my arm, but you'll see that later. <laughs> Next I'm using some Jet Grape from the same line to go over the purple parts of my hair. As you can see, it's a bit more blue than my hair, which is an easy fix. All you have to do is itch your nose before it's too late, and then add some Fuchsia Plum to the mix for the perfect purple. I'm applying this all over my roots and purple area and slowly fading into the middle section to blend it with the fuchsia plum for a nice gradient. Since this is just a touch up, you only need to leave it in for 5 to 10 minutes before rinsing it out. I was using someone else's shower, so it's a good thing it didn't stain their tub. <laughs> but anyways, I rinsed it out in cold water until the water ran clear. After rinsing, I lock in the color and moisturize with the iThrive Color Vibrancy Conditioner. My hair drinks conditioner for a living, so I get it in nice and saturated and give myself a scalp massage while I'm at it. Now I'm going to rinse some of that out and then get to detangling with my hairbrush. This Color Vibrancy Treatment locks in your color and helps keep bleached hair healthy. And you know I've been there so many times, so I spread this just everywhere, making sure the bleached areas get a lot of love. This is my favorite hair drying shirt that is more gentle than a towel, and hello, it's a Ramones t-shirt, so... You know. Lastly, for smoothing and preventing frizz, I use the iThrive Keratin Rescue Split and Repair, which also helps with hair structure since it has protein in it. So I spread that everywhere and it's pretty much like a protein shake for your hair, so it's perfect for any of you guys trying to get swole. I always finger comb at the end and scrunch up my hair to maximize curly potential. And there you go. It's easy to keep your hair vibrant if you do five minute touch ups in your special hair dyeing shirt and use the right products for maintenance. I hope you all enjoyed this video and special thanks to Clairol Professional for making it possible. By the way, I fell into a waterfall right after taking these clips, so follow my Twitter if you wanna look at the bruises. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Thank you, Chameleons, so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.